let me begin afresh. My name is Robert TechSoup Connect, Uganda chapter leader. And TechSoup Connect is basically a project of TechSoup Global. And that's mostly the tech meetups for nonprofits for free of charge. So here you can, you can link up with the, a number of organizers who can actually introduce you to a number of uh, technologies which you can actually use in your organization for personal use. And most of these are free of charge. Uh, then TechSoup Global is a nonprofit organization based in the US, and it is mostly donating technology products and services to nonprofit organizations. I share the link in the chat. You can actually try to visit those links and see if you have a chapter in your country. If not, then you can actually contact me, take you through the process, or you can contact the, you can contact the global coordinator, Eli. We'll be able to take you through all the process, what you need to do and how actually you can get best use of the platform for TechSoup Global. Today, we are going to look at something simple. Maybe some of you have already got introduced to this app, which is a Microsoft Picture Manager. And this Picture Manager was first introduced to the Office 97 up to Office XP. This application is helping you for editing, for just the best editing of pictures, like color collect, crop, cropping, flip, resize, and rotate. Because nowadays, if you are like an organization, you are managing a project, there's no way you can actually run away from working with pictures. We love to work with pictures, to share on different platforms, to share with your donors, or to share with wherever you, where you want the pictures to be. So at times you find that people, they don't know how like to compress pictures, resize them, work on their and You don't have to be so much experienced doing this. This is a simple software application which comes with your office and which you can basically be working with so everyone can actually see so this notes i'm going to to share them but i wanted to read as you follow i'm going to share them after the meeting so here you can see that the picture manager is a graphic editor introduced in microsoft 20 and includes up to Office 10, which is the replacement to the Microsoft Photo Editor introduced in the Office 19, 1997. And this includes up to, actually it was, it was up to Office XP. That's when you are installing your Office suit by then after Office XP, you are able to have the Microsoft Picture Manager included in the package. So this software, as I measure, I, as I say, that it's the best image editing feature, which includes color collect, crop width, the size and crop. So for some of you, everyone actually who shares photos online, you have to know how to edit how to compress pictures. Otherwise, if you share a photo in its original dimensions, weight, you are likely to use much internet data. Also the space where you store your photos. For example, if you are using Google Drives, some of you, I think you've experienced that you, your Google Drive or Google Mail is times they are telling you it is, it is getting full. So please, maybe you have to upgrade something like that. So all that comes due to that, that you might be sharing photos. They are not compressed and they use much of your space. So with the 
I'm going to show you after practically how we decide how we compress and what have you. But for you, you know, nowadays we use different Windows Office. And at the moment we have the Office 365, we have the latest Office. So you might find that with the latest Office, you don't have a picture manager. So these are some of the features where actually you can be able to install the picture manager free of charge. This one I'm going to share with you after the meeting. So, the process and all the steps, the photo, and then you might find that you with the window 11 or window 10 up and up, which is called named the photo. And uh, that is the successor of the picture manager. So if you see photo, then that you may, there, you know, that it is a replacement of the picture manager. Personally, up to now. Even though I use the latest office, I still use the picture manager because it is simple to work with. It is very easy. So you don't have to worry when you are working with it. Let me stop this. Then I'm going to show you with some pictures in the folder, how we can actually edit them, resize them, compress them. Then after, maybe we can have, I can have some questions why actually you need more assistance. Okay, go to the folder. All right, let me again switch on, share my screen with you so you can be able to see. So this is, these are the photos which I have in the folder. And if I scroll, we see, okay, I can see and see the folder. So in this particular folder, I have 230 photos. On the, if, for example, if I click at one, one of the photos, I will know. And be, yeah, I can see, you can see the weight of that photo. You can see it is a 7.20 megabyte the next two photo it is so you can see here you look at the cursor this you can see 7.25 megabytes the next two photo it is 720 megabyte then also the next one 7.11 so for example if I wanted to share this photo like on a Google Drive. Let me select them and show you how much they weigh if you choose to attach them. And so the 100, 130 pictures, if I look at the property of this, you will see, yeah, you can see that all of these photos, they add up to 1.57 gigabyte. So if I'm to share like on my Google Drive, OneDrive, Gmail, so it is going to cover up this space. So if on a daily basis, I share like this kind of photos, with, which were up to this magnitude, you will find that much of my space, email space, drive or OneDrive space is going to be we use that very soon. So what, how do we edit these photos? This is what we do. This is what we do. Let me, okay. These are the photos. So what you, you right click, right click on one of the photos in that folder. Then you go to open, open with, then with open with you. We choose Microsoft Office. Here it is say Microsoft Office 20, 2010, but it's supposed to be Microsoft Picture Manager. This is the icon. You will be able to know the icon. This is the icon of the Microsoft Office Picture Manager. So you click and open. Have you seen? 
So this photo, when you open it, you will come at the edit. This is edit up here. You with the picture manager, it has two ed edits. It has this edit up, this toolbar. This is not what we use, but we use this edit pictures here. You click on that. When you click, then you will have a menu. Right. This side menu will appear. And this side menu, it has this component. It has auto color. Then it has lightness and contrast, color, crop, size, complex. Sorry, so, sorry Mr. Kebaya. I'm yes, not seeing please. your. Yeah, I'm not seeing your screen. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I can see. Let me see. Okay, this is, I'm going to stop this, then share with the picture I've opened. So this is the photo, the first one, which I've opened with the picture manager. The process is you right click and then you open with office picture manager. Let me, we can still see the group of photos only. So that's what the photos, that one you can see then. Let me show you the one I have open. You feel minimize it cannot work. Okay. Yeah, that's what I hang here. Um, yeah, now it has come. So I have the group of photos and then I have this. I think you, now you can see. Are you seeing the photo? Yes, I can see. Okay. So this photo, yeah, I have opened it with the software picture manager. You remember, let me, let, or you remember the other photo in the folder, I right clicked. Then I went to open with, then I chose office picture manager. And then I was able to open it. So when you open it with the picture manager, so you have, uh, when you open the picture with the office manager, that's what you have. And then you will see that you have a menu here up here. Uh, let me first close this. So when you open, this is what appears. Microsoft Office 2010, then you have file edit view, picture tools, something like that. Then on this by you have share, edit pictures, then auto collect. I say that uh, when you open, you are going to have two edits. You have this edit at this bar, and then you have this edit at this bar. So for editing, we don't use this, but we use this edit pictures. So when you click on this, it will bring a menu on your side bar on the, on the right side. So you will have this menu on the side bar. So this, here you will see that you have lightness and contrast, color, you have crop, you have rotate and flip, you have red eye removal, you have size and compress. So this is, for example, there we show that uh, this picture is more than seven megabytes, but I want to share it on the, or on a email. I want to share it on maybe Google drive, one drive without maybe losing much of my space. So for example, if I want to resize, this is what I do. You come and click on compress picture and then. Here, it is giving you options, document, web page, email message. In most cases, you choose document because if, if you choose email or web, web page, it is going to make the picture very small. So in most cases, you choose document. And when you choose document, you can see that the original size of the picture, it was 7.5. 0.2 megabyte. 
and now it is going to be compressed to there. Uh, sorry for cutting. Actually, the point uh, after this one, you say that we are going to use this edit on the lower bar. Then after that, we are aware. I don't know, somebody was actually making noise. Okay. May I have your question, please? Okay. I said yes, I met you when you were in. Yeah, the editing process here from the, the lower editing. Mm. Uh, then after that, where we go when we have to try the bar and how, or actually which one we are going to choose. Then we work with it. Thank you. I've got it. I say that for there are two edit on this menu. You have this edit, you, the usual edit, which we actually which we work with. So you can see when I click on it. Let me first remove this menu. So if I click on this edit, this is the usual edit we have for Microsoft Suite, even Microsoft Word. Everyone, you have the cut, the copy, the delete rename something like that. So I told you that when you open your photo with the picture manager, use this edit, this one, edit picture. It is edit picture. The other edit it is just the edit, but this one is edit pictures. Have you seen? Are you seeing? So when you click, are you seeing? Yeah, I'm seeing. I'll take when you click on edit pictures, that this menu will appear on your right. Let me close it and then I, so when you, I, you see there's no menu on the right. So when I click on edit picture, this menu comes. And on this menu, you have a number of options. You have light and contrast, you have color, then crop, you have rotate and flip, you have red eye, resize and compress. So we are going on compression, how to, you can compress your picture. So this is the picture which is open. Then you click on compress picture. So when you click on compress picture, you have a number of options here. Compress for document, web page, email message. And then I advise you that like in most cases, you compress to document. Because in, in some cases, all cases, when you compress for email message or web page, the picture becomes very small. And there uh, are times a person might take my, 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 my face difficult to view it clearly. So you choose documents. So when you choose the option here, down here, you will see the estimated total size. So the original size is 7.20 megabyte. And then if we, I press okay, this is going to be compressed to 3.335 kilobyte. I think you can see how this software can actually uh, compress a picture to a very mi minimal size from 7.20 megabyte to 3.35 mega kilobyte. So this means that if I'm going to share this picture on my email, it is going on to take up this space of 3, 3, 5 kilobyte. But if I'm going to share it in its original form, then it is going to take 7.20 megabyte. That is much space. So your email account here, it will be actually reduced to this. But if you compress, then just the minimal space will be taken away. And it, that means that your account will take time to get full. But if you don't compress, soon it will get full. And then you will need to buy maybe space or to delete whatever I've been saving there. So here, when you click, Okay, you have clicked okay, you've seen, and here nothing has changed. When you click okay, nothing has changed. See, you go to save. So you click okay, and then go up here, 
and save. This is the icon for saving. When I click save, you watch. When I click this icon save, here it is going to show the new size. So here I click. Have you seen? It is now the original size. It is 140 kilobytes. And here it is showing me it is compressed. So you've seen. Let me let me know if anyone has a question there because if you miss a point here, it will be very difficult for you to actually work with this application. Yeah, and I I'll do something. Yes, please. Yeah, initially when we are working in the office initially and you need to share initially by or secret. Sometimes even hitch can refuse some of the email they cannot uh, take more than twenty-five or twenty-two. Sometimes we will we tend to we just uh, drag the character up, up and then you bring down that one really can reduce the size of the photo. In terms of yeah, that's MVs or it's still even if you can only make the type small, but I'm not saying actually the right. volume or on, on, on the way it's on the email. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh yeah, I think that's the right. Yes. Yeah, thank you for that addition. Yeah, sure. I think everyone has actually experienced that, that when you like sharing made five photos, like you've mentioned, when they are not compressed, at times they after they, they are beyond what the limit you are, you are allowed to share for a single email to be sent out. So at times you find that yeah, they are telling you, oh, it is above the limit. Then you, you remove one photo again above the limit. Then you remove another one. And at times, even if the photo is very heavy, you find that you failed to send it any. So with this application, it can actually help you like the photos and then you are within the limit allowed to send over your email. Yeah, thank you. So. Here you can see it is compressed up to that. Let me, we, this is a single photo, but remember in the, in, in this folder, the folder I showed you, it has 230 photos. So complex individual photo, actually it is time consuming. So in most cases, this is what I do. So this is it. That is the folder. And they, we want to work on these photos at once without wasting time working on individual photos. So let me open up. This is what we do. Again, within that photo folder where our photos are, you, you right click and open one of the photos. And then let me stop and share the photo. Okay, this is the photo. That is the photo. You've seen the photo? Are you seeing the photo? Are you able to see it? Yes. Yeah, yeah I can see one photo. <laughs> Thank you. So this is what we do if you want to edit a group photos, all of them at once. Look at the car side. You see now I've opened just a single photo here, but down here, up here. You have these three icons. There's this one, there's that one, and there's that one. I don't know if you are able to see when I'm actually changing them. Yeah, I can see on the screen, you are able to see. So these are the icons up here. Are you seeing these icons? This is the first one. This is the second one, and then this is the third icon. So if this is what I do, I use this icon here to show me all the photos in the folder. Then I click on 
one of the photos, and then I go to to edit this edit, and then I say select all. Are you seeing what's happening? If I click on select all, so when I click on select all, then again I go to edit pictures, and then this menu will again appear and this menu will again appear and then when so these are photos which i've selected all of them and then i go to this menu like in the first instance then this menu appears so if i want to compress then i click on compress pictures again i have this menu document web page email message so that all these pictures they are weighing up to 1.56 B gigabyte. And then when I choose document, yeah, it's taking time because there are many. Yeah. So I've selected the document. So you will see that the original size, it is 1.56 gigabyte. And then all of these 230 photos. They are going to be compressed to 101 megabytes. So you can imagine from 1.56 gigabytes to 1.01 megabyte. I remember when you choose here and then you click OK. So you, you are saying I've clicked OK. This time it is taking time. You can see it is processing because there are so many pictures I've selected, so it is taking time like to have them compressed. Then after, I'm going to click save. So after it, is, it has done, you'll see that I'll be able to have the cursor, the pointed cursor, and then I'll be able to click on the save button. Maybe as it is clicking on compressing all the 230. Yeah, my question is we have worked on a single editing and a group editing. Like if I'm to select three from a group or four from a group of photos, is it going to be like that? I select some or unless if I single them out? Yeah, thank you for that question if you are going to select like a few of them you can still select them from group you don't have maybe to cut them and then put them in a separate folder no you can just select those very fully you want to edit and when you select them then you click on edit and then only those three they will be edited i don't know if i have answered your question yes perfectly so it is still let me Show you all. Okay. So you can see here we have the original size as this. Or I've already clicked OK. And now it's going to be compressed up to 101 megabyte. So now I have to click on save. Don't forget to click on save because if you don't click on save, then nothing will be worked on. Nothing. So here I click on save. And when you click on save, then it takes some few minutes and then everything is okay. So here you can see, I don't know there. If that is captured, okay. The screen has stopped, but let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, I'm trying to pick the screen here. But yeah, here what I'm saying that all the 230 photos they are compressed up to 26.3 megabyte from one point something gigabyte. So you can see the level at which this can be compressed. Let me open it. So you can be able to see. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, when I check these photos, all of them, now I can see all of them, the 230, they are 26.3 megabyte. Remember, 
originally we had the 2.1 something gigabyte. So that's how actually how you can compress the photos to the size, which can actually save you space on your email on your Google drive on your own drive. For the few, the last few minutes, let me again, work on something. Let me stop this. Maybe if you have any question, we have not uh, oh, to ask if you finish like this one in shape, where will you get them? Or I that folder that you compress, which is where by which you get them. Because near, yes, now I, we are in okay. Yeah, in that very folder. So in most cases, what I do, like uh, I copy the photos, eh? then the original photos, I put them in, in, in that folder, then I create a a subfolder within that very folder and I call it compressed. Then I copy what I the original into there. The compression thing. It is. Okay. So I work on these ones in the compressed folder. So I don't have, again, to lose the original pictures. You remember, you don't have to lose the original pictures, you have to have them in their original form because at one point, maybe you want to print them. It, you, you, on, you, you can print a photo which is in its original form, not that one which is compressed. The one which is compressed, it loses some clarity when you actually, when you print. So you remember that if you want to compress, copy them put them in a separate folder and work on them uh, in that folder. And when you save, then they will be in that folder. When you forget to, to maybe to have the original copy somewhere, then it will be hard for you again to turn these ones you've compressed to the original, original weight. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Let's work on something. Let me stop this screen and then. Let me show you, for example, here, if you have uh, this picture, these ones we, uh, I'm going to show you briefly. I know you can actually try them uh, for your, uh, on your own. So you, you have this picture. I, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. You can, you, you can see that picture. So this is what you do. You again go to edit. We want to resize. Some of you have worked with the green card. You wanted to submit a photo to, for green card lottery. That's a U.S. program. Most of the people, they failed to come up with the required size, which is 600 by 600 pixels. And some of you, you go in the photo studio and when you mention of green card, then they have to charge you either because they know that you can't make it by yourself. So this is what you can, for example, with this photo, if I want to resize it to 600 by 600, I go to crop. This is crop. On this menu, you have crop. You click on crop. And when you click on crop, then yeah, you see, you can see, you can have these markings here. And here you can see left zero pixels, right zero pixels, top zero pixels, top bottom zero pixels. Here it is showing me original, the original size is 1024 by 768 pixels. Then the new one, if I choose, then it will be that it is the same because I've not chosen anything. So here, if for example, if I want to crop this, like I'm moving, are you seeing? I'm moving. So you will see the meter down. It is also reading. Are you seeing that meter? It is reading. It is reading. And you will see that uh, one size, one side it is 600 pixels you've seen and then the other one it is seven seven four one pixels so what you do if you want 
the other side, 600 pixels also, sometimes click OK. Then this appears like that. Then you come again to edit pictures here up. And then you click on resize on this very menu. The size is there. So with this resize, you see when you click here, you will see that uh, if you choose document, yeah. it will be like that. Then if you come here, it's like that. Then if you go again to edit, you go to crop. Mm -hmm. You will see that for each is the original size is 741, then 600. So if you like, you want to come up with six by six, this is what you do. You, for example, if I just move down, also the six changes, then if I move this, that this is six, we have 600 pixel. It is for the height, height. Then this is the seven three nine eight is four. There will be so I only touch this and then it moves up to six hundred. I don't know if you are seeing the meter moving. Yeah. Now you can see that it is six hundred by six hundred. And that is the size. Yeah which actually is required by the green card program. So it means that you can also take a photo at your home. If you have a good camera, you just have a white background, you take with all your children and then use this program to edit them to the required size. Otherwise, if like you have 10 children, even if they are free, with the charges in the studio for the green card photos, you will find that you are going to pay much money, yet you can do it by yourself. So that is cropping and resize. These others you can actually try it by yourself. For example, auto collect. If I go to auto collect, you will see how it is changing. Auto collect. When you click auto collect. The, it, it changes. I don't know the screen you are using. Here I can see, but you can try it on your pieces. You'll be able to see. Then lightness and contrast. These ones also you, you try. You just move the meter and see how the... Uh, here if I move this, you, you can see. Eh? Then if I go to contrast, there I was at... Uh, lightness, contrast, then this. So these ones, you just need it to try it. You computer work, it needs like when you are actually making practice, you don't have to be seen. So that's what you need actually to do. You need to practice and then you'll be able to catch up with the, most of these details. Maybe if someone has a question, if you need some writing or if you want to understood, please you pick up the links. If you don't have this picture manager on your computer, you will be able to, to have it installed. Yeah. If you have a question, ask. Yes, my last question is, now we have known for a photo, what about a video? Can we also edit and compress? That is my question, or it is a... Yeah, thank you for that question. Today, with this one, I've never tried it to, I've never tried it to edit a photo with a video with it, because I've not seen an option with that. But in the future, we are going to look at that, how to, how to edit the video. video. Okay. So that one. I appreciate it. Okay. Question, dear Robert. 
Yes, please. Suppose that you have, you have cropped your photos, you made it looking very well, and maybe sometime you want to add something like writings. So could uh, you do with this uh, app? No, with this app, no, I don't do it, but usually I do it with, with the paint. Do you know that the application, uh, Microsoft Pay? Also, it comes with the Microsoft so Pay. Yes. Yeah. Like, for example, if you right click, then you choose Pay, then it opens. For it, it has some editing options, which are not included in, in this one. So you are able actually like to in such a logo, this is what I do. For example, if I want to share organizational photos or online, and I want to include a, a logo, so I open it with the paint, then again, go and insert a logo within the same picture. Also with the, you, you can also do it with the publisher, Microsoft publisher for it it is yeah. it has most of those the, those options where even you can write you can search you can match them yeah. these ones you need actually to try them out and see how they work because if you don't try them then it is very difficult for you to master most of that application what it can actually how it can work with the with your project. So you need to try every now and then. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there other questions? If there are no questions, let me, I'm uploading this and I share with you. Okay. Let me share with you the link. So you are able to download. Okay, this is the link. Let me know if you're able to have access to the folder. Okay, yeah, I can see Godfrey is able to have access. What about others? Are you able to have access or to the folder? So that folder is going to, you, you have, you find that, that document where it can guide you how to install the office picture manager at your, PC and also those links from TechSoup, Global, and this, this uh, connect. Yeah, maybe with that, we have to have this event and at this point, and uh, I thank you for keeping time and for attending this session. And uh, we thank our sponsor, the TechSoup. Tech Robots for providing where we can actually share with the others in this area of technology for social good. Yeah, thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.